what's up y'all so today i'm gonna be doing something that i never thought i'd do in a million years i'm gonna be test driving a tesla if you know me you know i do not like teslas i don't like the way they look i don't like the people who drive them i don't like seeing them on the road i think they're the most ugliest car in the history of mankind i just don't like them they don't have no swag people be like oh but you can customize it yeah but you can't customize a tesla like you can customize a jeep though you can't take the doors off you feel me but i feel like you know a lot of times we hate things because we don't understand them and you can really apply that principle to many many different things in the world so for me today as a content creator i think it's important to get an understanding but before i get into it make sure you like this video comment down below if you think i'm gonna enjoy this test drive or not and let me know if you think this test drive is going to change my mind on teslas you feel me also most importantly make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and uh i really don't want to do too much talking man let's get into it now i know what you're thinking am i thinking about trading in the jeep absolutely not i'm just thinking about a second vehicle to save some money or do I want to trade in the Jeep? I don't know. Now, I done put a lot of customizations and stuff into the Jeep, and I love it. Love this Jeep to death. It's a super fun car. Taking the doors off is amazing. Ride with the doors off. I don't care if you got a Lamborghini or a Porsche or a Mercedes. If you pull up next to my Jeep at the light, I guarantee you, majority of the people are going to be looking at the Jeep for sure. And, um... That's why I love it. You know, it's a head turner. I like to think it's because of just how I customize my Jeep. Because it's not, I promise you, like, that's not the case with every Jeep. But it's definitely the case with mine. You feel me? I feel like it's time to just kind of enlarge my territory a little bit. And while I'm not looking to get a car before I buy another house, I definitely want to just go check it out. See, should I really hate it as much as I do? Or, like, have I really been just going way too hard on Tesla and all of that? Um, I'm not test driving the Cybertruck or nothing like that. I, I don't I don't want the Cybertruck. I'm just not impressed. I think the Cybertruck is really ugly. And typically, the reason why I don't like Teslas is because you just, there. there's no way you can put your own swag on them like you can with a Jeep, you know? like you can't customize the grill or add a winch or put it on 26s or nothing like that you know what i'm saying so it's just like i just want to invest in something that's going to save me money in the long run and if i'm not having to spend money on gas i think gas is like the third most expensive thing that we pay for in our life next to mortgage or rent and then your car note but i spend more money on gas than i spend on my car insurance which is crazy so if we can maybe like i ain't gonna say eliminate a bill but minimize as much bills as possible that's the goal another thing i don't like about tesla is like the idea of having to like stop and charge it if you're trying to go on like a long road trip cross country or something you know like I feel like your trip would be like interrupted by you having to like stop and charge it versus you could just stop and get some gas fill up right quick and boom be right back out there but when you got to charge your tesla you having to like sit there for like an hour or two hours or however long it takes to me that's just not cool I feel like you'll waste a lot of time doing that but we'll see but one thing i do like i hear that you can watch youtube and stuff inside your tesla with the Tesla screen and stuff like that. And who's to say maybe I will put one of those inside the Jeep for real. A few moments later. Well, first of all, I thought I was coming to like a standalone Tesla dealership. But as it turns out, looks like this Tesla is actually inside of a mall. And I tried calling the number just to be sure. But of course, nobody picked up the phone. So... Looks like we drove all this way just to go in the mall. <laughs> Man, hope it's worth the drive. Oh, oh. 
go check it out. Is this the Model X? Uh, this one. That's the Model X? What's this one? It's the Model Y. What's the difference? Um, a lot. Because they both look amazing. <laughs> Does uh, that, the doors on this, this one open one, like that one? No, so this one will open normally. This one's like 44,000, that's like 8,000. So, paying about half. Um, oh. It's probably finance or least the car most likely. Me? Yeah. Probably finance. Yeah. I like owning stuff. If you're financing it, this would probably be around a thousand two hundred per month is probably around six hundred per month so it's just about double the price of the car it's more luxury what's so fire about that besides the way the doors are doors the suspension that has more screens it's just more of a luxury suv ten percent bigger than this one but if you want more of a price efficient car that's the water for you this so the way this is right now does it start at 40 so, so it's 44.90 so like this one right here if i wanted to buy it right now 44 nine ninety four tax oh can you give me like a maybe like tell me what's so cool about that one on the inside or something it's, or is that what that guy's really gonna do like well I, I don't know nothing to be honest with you i hate teslas i'm just okay. gonna be honest with you i hate them That's fair. i can't <laughs> can't stand them i don't i'm a jeep wrangler owner okay. um every time i see one of these on the road i hate the people who drive them i just can't i'm just oh my god uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> the only reason i'm here is because maybe i hate them because i don't understand them okay so I'm just trying to get an understanding, like, what's the big deal? And from what I'm looking at, I mean, this car actually looks better than that car, I think. Some people would say that. Um, yeah. I do have a 3 and a Y, so I do like the ladies look more than... What's the 3? That one? That's the 3 right there. And you got that one. And oh. this one right here. Oh, you got all three of them? I got just these two right Oh. Okay, okay. Look at you, big baller. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I like the way... If I were gonna get one, just based off looks, this well, one looks. Do you drive a lot or not so much? Yeah, I'm a road tripper. How much? How much is kind of gas for you? Per week? Yeah. Probably like two fifty. That's the reason right there. Yeah. I mean, you're paying a thousand per month for gas. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's a lot. And this is gonna eliminate that. A hundred percent. Can you charge it? Apartment, house, you Condo. Condo. Okay, yeah. do you have charge in there? Or not? I have my own garage and I don't have a charge. Like your own like, personal garage? Yeah. Do you have like an outlet in there or anything like that? Or not? A plug-in outlet? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can charge off of that if you want. You just spend how much you drive, of course. But, yeah. I mean, the main reason people drive Tesla's is because of gas. That's right. The main reason, so. But they just look like cockroaches. Like, that doesn't look like a cockroach to you? It just depends on the sort of area. Like, you drive a lot, so you, you deal with traffic, too, or not so much? I hate traffic. Yeah, you so know. in these cars, you don't have to deal with that. You just, you turn on this thing called autopilot, it does everything for you in one way. So you, does you, it come with each one of them? Really? So there's little nuances, I would say. Like, I used to have a Prius, so I never cared about the way the car worked. I wanted oh, to save money. Oh, yeah. Gas. A it Tesla was, is just like yeah. a Prius on steroids. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect, perfect analogy for it. So. <laughs> I never cared about that. Right. I, all I cared about was saving money. And, and these two cars, I pay less for than my previous that was paid off. Because I, I drive so much too. I drive a lot. Yeah. Too, so do you do like ride share in them? Um, I don't even know some of my cars, but just my own personal use of the car, I save a lot. So you don't do like Lyft? No. Like you don't. But this would be a good car it's to do. It's a great car. We have a lot of Uber like, drivers that come in with these cars. So, and this is and only forty-four grand. Starts at forty-four nine ninety. You also get a tax credit if you're eligible for seven thousand five hundred. So. Right on. Hey, do you mind the camera? Yeah, no, you're okay. You're okay, okay, cool. What's your name? Micaiah. I'm Whitley. That's a beautiful name. She Micaiah. Needs Tesla. She doesn't want yeah. Tesla. No, okay. She just wants to understand. I think she's leaning towards the Y more, uh, to be honest with you. Yeah. Based off our interaction. She has a Jeep. Yeah. She pays two fifty a week for gas. She can <laughs> <laughs> she can but she hates the way the Tesla is. So you just have to convince her to love it and she'll probably get one. Who knows? But she has an outlet in her garage in her condo. So you already set up. So she's day. already set. So Two fifty a week in gas. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, 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 that's crazy, car. right? That's that's a thousand. Yeah. Okay. So we want to do. So do we want to test with the Model Y instead? Um, to be honest with you, I just like them. I think it looks better than that one. 
I don't know. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, yeah. I think oh. it looks better. I mean, I'm not, I don't know anything about Teslas. He was right when he said, I hate them. I really do hate them. I don't like the way they look. I don't like the people who drive them. Uh, it could just, that's the same thing he said. Uh, but it could just be like, maybe I just don't understand them. But if I were to get one, it would be one of these two right here. Like the, the X or the Y, or is it? Is there gonna be a Z next or something? Yeah, we'll see. Well, um, well, Elon did sort of S, uh -huh. three, X, and Y, because he wanted it to spell sex. So our whole mob, yeah, I know, right? Wow, wow, right? There's an E? Three. Oh, S, three, X. X, Y, ah! yeah, so he wants to spell sex. This word, totally wouldn't. So we'll, I wouldn't try the, we'll try the Model Y. Um, okay. I'll explain all the information. After that, you can make a you know a form decision if you like it or if not. You mm -hmm. know, whatever you decide at the okay. end of the day. Can you just explain to me real quick what's the difference between these two? Because in my opinion, this one looks better than that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of people. I mean, this one is the number one selling car. It was uh, globally last year. Mm -hmm. So this is more mid-sized SUV. This is more SUV. Yes. Air suspension, so the car raises and lowers for it. So it's yeah. It got hydraulics. Yeah, so like it's it's air suspension. So it go over a bump, it will raise automatically or lower automatically. Like you're paying your, you know. It's not a Jeep though. No, it's not. No, not not, not a Jeep. Not a Jeep. Uh, is this your first time ever driving a Tesla, right? Ever. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. Yeah, this is. This is I just want to look on the inside because I'm just like, why do people like these things so much, bro? Like, okay, cool cup holders, white seats. Uh. Uh, uh, Customize it though, so you get black seats, or uh, with this one you get beige as well. I do like the screen in the middle. I think that's the dopest thing about it. But when I just look in the inside of this thing, there is just nothing in here that makes me want to be like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. you got to get in a Tesla. Like it don't have no 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 panoramic roof. Like, come on, not bro. this one. The and that's probably why you are low. The Y does have your panoramic roof all the way through. All right, um, let, let's get let's get out of this. I I was looking at this one because Janae Aiko said flexing on my ex in my model. Let's. There we go. Come but, on now. But no, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, Janae. What this, this is? Your frunk. The trunk. So the you have frunk. A frunk. <laughs> you have a frunk and a trunk. Oh, this the frunk. So if you hit somebody from the front all your stuff just gone this is a little carry-on little uh, groceries uh front and your only maintenance let me look at this piece of paper here now why do we say 100 fuel economy 100 miles per gallon when it don't take gas yeah so it's almost your so like if you pay 250 a week for a g that's a thousand dollars a month yeah you're probably gonna pay maybe 100 150 a month to charge it Oh, you, you have to pay to charge it. You gotta pay to charge. You gotta pay to charge. But you're going cents versus dollars. So mm. it goes off the kilowatt. Interesting. You gotta pay to charge it. And so, California is not gonna allow gas powered vehicles come 2035. They can't sell them no more. Yeah, that's 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 what the, the rumor is right now. So we'll see if you know. It's probably we'll gonna go there. when you in that year, electricity gonna go up to charge a car then, huh? I still think it will go to with gas it's a lot easier to you know mm -hmm. do electricity than it is gas okay um, but like i said we're gonna drive it you're mm -hmm. gonna you know whip it around see how it feels in your lifestyle then uh then you'll know exactly what it is to uh you know drive a tesla and you can make a informed decision kind of what you want to do you know this one has the front as well so this one's a little bit smaller where do you put the engine in all it no engine Huh? No engine. No engine, no transmission, no timing belts. No carburetor. No radiator, nothing. You have a battery and a motor. Or dual motor, you have two motors. And no catalytic converter? Nope. So that's why your maintenance is minimal compared to a gas car. No oil changes, no smog, charge it go. Uh, the windshield wiper fluid. Oh. The windshield wiper fluid, that's it. So what's this thing right here for? This no, so it's your toys right here. It's oh. funny, this actually could work as an ice chest. Now I would layer it first because there's no way you can drain it. Yeah. You can put ice in here, a couple drinks. You have speakers on the outside of your car, so you can listen to music on the outside, have a couple drinks in here. It's uh What are speakers at on the outside now? Yeah. We'll show y'all uh, show y'all side because okay, it's a okay. showroom mode right now. Fair we'll enough, fair side. enough. Let me see the back trunk. Okay. Oh hey. So this is where we're looking at. You have a little extra room in here as well. That ain't too bad. That ain't bad. Right. Yeah, cubby here, cubby there. You have the little privacy screen. 
Hmm. And if you needed to, you could take this out, put those seats all the way down. Mm -hmm. Some people camp in here, have a little air mattress, look outside the window. That's uh. Are you able to install like aftermarket subwoofer speaker system, that sort of thing? You could do a little, I would say Tesla's been around since 2008. There's so many little aftermarket things that have been born out of Tesla that you could almost find anything to hook up your Cause car. Cause like in my Jeep, I have like, uh, custom sound system replaced all the factory okay, stuff, yeah, but like stuff custom it. stuff, and I have like two subwoofers in the back. Is have you ever seen a Tesla with that kind of thing? Is it rigged for that or like? Personally, no, I haven't seen it, but I've seen people do almost everything that they can with a gas car with a Tesla. Interesting. Except putting uh, you know. So what a battery it? On the bottom, so you'll never see it. So the battery is about this big, and it's a long battery right there in the bottom. You'll never actually see it though. That's what they hook up all the customs to though, the battery. Wow. What do you so mean? so like if I so like in my Jeep, mm -hmm. they have to hook up all the cables for the Jeep to the battery. That's what powers it, right? Mm -hmm. So if we can't see it, how are they gonna hook it up? No need to hook it up. There's mm -hmm. no need you don't This the sound first, system just that fire or something? Yeah, I'll let you be the judge of that. All I right. think it's pretty nice. Has some couple musicians that love it. I'm a musician myself. Okay, so yeah. I'm a I'm a I want you to be honest with me. When you come back, I'm gonna need to know exactly the details so that I can explain to the next client. Like, hey, I have somebody that right. really knows their thing. I'm, I'm gonna let you know, bro. All right, let's that's, see. Let me you just know. see your ID. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, y'all. So this is the Model Y. I think if I were to get a Tesla, I would probably get the Model Y because I like the the roof. I like the little panoramic roof. That's pretty tight. I don't really care for white seats though. Kind of classy, but I don't really care for it. Um, we gonna go in here. Whoa. This is the inside of it, y'all. Once again, you know, I really dig the Tesla screens in here. Like, I like the screen, for real. It's electric vehicle, fully electric. I'm just gonna check it out, man. I think the best time to test drive a vehicle is when you don't need to test drive a vehicle. I could already see it's like a camera right there. I don't know what that's for. And I definitely would want a Tesla that has like the self-driving feature on it. Maybe that's what these outside cameras are for. I'm really just trying to see what all the hype is about though. This is the front, as he was saying. And uh, we'll just see, bro. It's still ugly though. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, just looking at it, dog. It's ugly as fuck, bro, but shit. So most of the time when you walk to your car, it automatically unlocks. When you walk away, it locks. Just by the app on your phone. Let's just say your phone's dead. They go to valet. You have this key card. Now I'm gonna give you a whole experience. Here you go. We're gonna tap that key card right underneath the camera in this area right here. Perfect. That just unlocks your car. You go ahead and get inside. Oh, ain't no handles on that bit. So me personally, I rock with this and go like that. What the? Okay. It don't raise up? It does raise up. So a little right here, this will raise us up. Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> All right, I think we about as high as we could go. Oh, no, we not. I don't want to be looking like no Mexican in here. <laughs> you know how they be. So first thing first, we're gonna press a little Tesla icon right here. That is the home of your Tesla. Anything you ever need is gonna be in that section right there. Okay. I'm following you. We'll go ahead and press steering right here. Where was it at? This button right okay, here. I got you. Mm -hmm. So with this right here, we're gonna go in to bring it in, out to bring it out, up, down, just like that. So you're gonna play around with it and get it adjusted to you. I like how easy it is though. Does it tilt or slant? No, it doesn't tilt or slant. Okay, got it. I wish that it would tilt or slant, but that's good. <laughs> All right, that's good. Steady, all right. Mm -hmm. Press mirrors right above. It's on left mirror right now, that same analog you just used mm -hmm. is how you move your left mirror. What all is right. this apply brakes when regenerative braking is limited? What does that mean? So, okay, I kind of compare it to a golf cart. So, when you lift your foot off of the accelerator, it's automatically gonna slow down for you without it hitting the brake. Most of the time, you're probably not gonna use the brake unless it's for emergencies or something comes across the street, then you'll hit the brake. Other than that, you'll be A-OK. -okay. So how you cut the car off? Oh, uh, you just get out. You get out, close the door, it turns off automatically. 
Just get out. Just get out. Bruh. Get out. <laughs> what? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Just get out? That's so don't give a fuck about what gear you in. Just get out. So let's just say, put your phone on the brake for me. Mm -hmm. One drive right now, right? Mm -hmm. You're automatically parked. No, no Ain't mistakes. No, way, no mistakes. Ain't no way. I love how this roof is just. It's nice. It's very nice. It's it's unfortunate that it doesn't go back. Little aerodynamics, you know, wind coming into electric car, you might not get enough range. Yeah. But uh, who knows? I mean, Elon Roadster, it might it might be happening. So let's talk about this uh, sound system now. How you get let's to like it. the radio and stuff? So we have Tesla radio right now. Oh, okay. Well, fine. Or did you want to connect your phone to it? Um, what's what, what is this? Let's see. So this is ten dollars a month. It's a uh, basically Tesla version of Pandora. Oh. So you can search around, play around things. Now, once you have your car, you can choose to do that or just connect your phone, Bluetooth, sign in Apple Music, sign in Spotify, do some of that. But for the test drive, if you want to play around, see what genre we're feeling. Let's see what we got going on. Um, let's try some uh hip hop hits, of course. You know. Perfect. Your volume's right here. Your volume's also in that right hand corner over there. So where do you do like the EQ right here? You know what I mean? Looking forward to my favorite days in that of Saturday and Sunday. You know what I mean? It's a big week for Big Sean. Uh this coming Friday, the ninth, not only one drop in the new album, uh, but we are gonna be hitting with an all new Big Sean DNA as I just wanna know like what the bass sound like. I just wanna know like that ain't too bad. I like it, it kinda just gives me like Bose vibes, like you know what I mean? Like, it don't give me kicker 212s in the back. Okay. But at the same time, I'm not driving it yet, so we'll see. Okay. Okay. What's Does it have a rolling tray? No rolling tray. Yeah, no no rolling, rolling tray. Okay, dang. All right. Uh, what else do Oh, so if I want to connect my phone through Bluetooth, do I need a cable or? Uh-uh. So you'll just go ahead and hit Bluetooth, and you'll connect your phone. Back on road. Go. Get in that mode. Oh, <laughs> You say I got an hour? 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. I'm just playing. All right, y'all. We about to test ride this thing, man. One thing I don't like about it is it's not very many places in here to position a camera when you want to vlog. Like, I noticed that right off the bat. That's not cool. All right, I finally found a place where I could put the camera. So it's like, you got to put it in the center console for real because it's just like, bro, ain't nowhere else to put it. So like, I like how when you take your foot off the gas, the car just stops because of regenerative braking. I think that's dope. Now I understand how when I be driving on the road and I see a Tesla, like why they be braking the way they do because the regenerative braking it's really annoying to be honest with you um and i should probably like adjust the settings on here so i'm actually test driving the model y instead of the x i don't like the way the x looks like i know a lot of people like the little t-shaped doors or what, what have you but like i'm not here for it bro like the model y looks better than the model x and now I kind of understand why people actually buy the Cybertruck because the Cybertruck is probably like the truck version of a Tesla. It ain't even about how it looks or the clout chase of it all. It's just like, um, it's just a truck version. Kind of like Jeeps have like the Gladiator. You feel me? Like it's just Tesla's version of a truck. Now I understand like, you know, what's so cool about it. So buying a Tesla you would have to like he said pay for the charge but you're paying cents versus hundreds of dollars like he said i should have asked him like how long does it take to charge a tesla fully how many miles will a full charge get you can you take a tesla on long road trips like all the things i should have asked oh i'm reaching for my door handles like in my jeep oh i don't have them no more oh bless my heart and also i wonder like if this has like google carplay because there's no cables in here to hook anything up like a regular car would so like how would i get like my navigation system and stuff like let me see the horn oh it's like a regular horn nothing too crazy <laughs> it's just a regular car bro it's like a prius on steroids like i said earlier like i really don't <sighs> see the hype for real just like so the speed limit on this road is 35 miles per hour 
so I don't really have a chance to open this thing up. Although I want to, I'm about to. Oh! Oh! And then I took my foot off the gas for the regenerative braking or whatever it's called, and then it automatically slows down. But what if I'm going super fast? Oh, if I hit the brakes, the brakes will break too. Okay, that's all I wanted to see. That's all I wanted to see. I mean, I fucks with it though. I fucks with it, like. And I'm driving without my booster seat too, y'all. That's another thing. All right, let's check out this uh, sound system, you feel me? Check me out. The sound system ain't talking about shit for real, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't really, I don't really fuck with it, bro. I don't fuck with the sound system, cause it just be sounding like you gonna blow the speakers for real. Like, I don't like that. say driving a tesla model y if i were to get one it would be a model y i would probably get it in white for sure um or red whatever the red color is that they have or maybe even get it wrapped to be honest but i would say like you know i don't feel like um i feel like a nerd driving this car because obviously you know like it's energy efficient and all that kind of stuff which is dope but I don't feel like I got swag like how I do when I'm driving my Jeep Wrangler. Like, I don't feel like, you know, when you're driving a Jeep, you just feel like you you on top of the world. You feel me? Like, you just feel like you own it. You feel like you're on top of the world. There's no place you can't go in your Jeep Wrangler. You can go over curbs. You can go up mountains. You can go. When I'm driving a Tesla, I really just feel like I'm just going to get there and, um, I'm not gonna have to pay for any gas. I don't feel like I have swag of any kind. I don't feel like a million bucks. I don't feel like I'm turning heads at the traffic light, you know what I mean? And I guess the older you get, life becomes less and less about all that kind of stuff. But when I'm driving a car, I do wanna feel like I'm, you know, adding some sort of entertainment to the world. Like, and I just don't feel like I'm doing that driving a Tesla. Now don't get me wrong, even though I'm gonna be, you know, I will be saving money on gas in essence, I guess, you know, like That's the goal at the end of the day. But yeah, I mean like that's that's really all you're doing. You're just saving gas You know what I mean? I will have to just kind of see how The charging and stuff like that works, but honestly, I really don't feel like I'm like Turning heads or none of that. You feel me? I just feel like I'm driving a Prius. That's really how I feel. Speaking of Prius, it's a Prius right in front of me at this light right now. Well, when I see a Jeep Wrangler on the road, man, I'm knowing like those guys are adventuring. They're doing some tough shit. They're just like, you know, and the fact that my Jeep is all customized how it is. Oh, I love it. But maybe one day, you know what I mean? If, I don't know, maybe if I win the lottery and I just got money to blow or something, maybe I'll invest in one. I know there's a ton of other electric cars that's out there on the market today um, and I just kind of have to see what works for me um, also like I still I'm not sold on like the outside look of a Tesla like not at all like it's just I don't like the way they look on the outside like you got to give me something better than that I just don't feel like it's like nothing too special about this car like and I really want to like it so bad like I'm I'm legit giving it a real try, y'all. Like, could I see myself in one of these? You know, when you drive a car, it's supposed to make you feel something. And driving a Tesla, it don't really make me feel nothing. It just, it just, I don't know. Really just trying to see how I feel. I don't know how to feel. I just feel like everybody else that has one. I don't feel like I stand out. I don't feel like I'm different from anybody else on the road or anything. I really, I really just feel like one in that number, you know? I'm curious to know how you would like put aftermarket speakers in a Tesla if you can't see the battery. That's pretty, like how would you, how would you customize it? Like I'm the type of person like I like big trucks 
and sound systems and stuff like that now while i do like the tesla screen and all of that um if you can't add speakers to this joint like what's the point i guess you could say it is kind of a safe ride though like taking your foot off the brake the regenerative braking or whatever it's called but this is where i will have to put the camera if i want to vlog in a car which is crazy now i see why ron doug when he be in his car the camera be all up on him unless you could put that joint hanging from the ceiling some kind of way but then it's like maybe you wouldn't be able to see your your rear view mirror or whatever and here is your tesla returns right down here we back at the spizot all right now he said when you get out the car <laughs> the tesla automatically turns off like that's what he said when you get out the car so right now i'm still in drive my foot is off the brake and i'm just about to open the door oh it turned off vehicle automatically parked to prevent roll away that's fire um, so in my jeep or whatever obviously you know i use a cable to plug in my phone mm -hmm. and then when you plug it in it just it operates off the google carplay so you can use your google maps instead of whatever tesla makes you use you know what i'm saying i'm like damn i would appreciate the google maps does it have that it don't have does google it? maps so technically it is google maps it's just dubbed over tesla so that is a google maps version right there okay. it's just tesla version of that okay. it's just dubbed over with tesla um yeah there's no apple car player or uh, Google CarPlay or anything. Uh, it would just all be Tesla version of things. Well, yeah. I mean, it's okay. Uh, one thing I don't like about it, too, is just the look of it. You know, when I was passing other Teslas on the road, like Jeep, we have this thing where if you pass another Jeep, you're going to wave at them because you just know. You're like... But with Tesla, everybody would just... Hey, guys. And a... I really did. <laughs> like, I really did feel like... I had my swag. I just felt like I was making a smart decision. Okay. When they first came out, these were definitely had turns. Now everybody, you know, I mean, like I said, it's the number one selling car, so. No, yeah, I get why. I everybody, get why. right? I mean, it's always a blessing to save money on gas. I feel like, you know, next fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 I get, it's gonna be an electric vehicle. Um, this is my first time test driving any electric vehicle. I know they have multiple ones. This is the most popular, of course. Then they have Rivian. Rivian, he has some Ionics. I would say. Fisker. Oh, don't do Fisker. Don't do Fisker. Don't you do the Fisker. second person that told me that. Don't do Fisker. No? Uh, I don't get commission. So, like, it really uh, just depends on, you okay, know, what okay. you want to do. But What you know about Fisker that uh, I don't know? It's, it's too new and. They were they used to be called something else, though. They used to be called something else. It's just when, it, when a company's so new like that, even um, when, like, Lucid, just when these companies are so Lucid, new and something yeah. goes wrong, mm -hmm. it takes months, maybe six months to get apart. As well as my biggest thing when it comes to that, it's like, where do you charge them at? Because Tesla chargers are... Oh, that's something I want to ask you. How long does it take to fully charge? A Tesla? full charge, zero to 100, you're probably looking around mm -hmm. 25, 30 minutes for the full charge. That's it? How much would something like that cost? Yeah, about 25 bucks, 27 bucks. Depends on what peak hours. Now, I had a client that, uh, totally different story. He uh, came from a club, it was one o'clock in the morning. He did a full charge at nine for nine dollars just because no one was using the grid it was one o'clock in the morning right there you go like that so you, you're going to find your little you know peak hours and stuff um but once you told me that i was like oh wow that's but who wants to charge their car at one o'clock in the morning you wouldn't do that but i would yeah. say you're doing it more if you're doing it at home you'll plug it in at eight o'clock at night or something like that or early in the morning you're going to charge it as well you don't have to pay to charge it at home though right we'll just do an electrician bill so electric bill Oh, that's the catch. Yeah, that's but the catch. I would say if you're doing 250 a week on gas, either way you go, either way you go, it's gonna be cents compared to what you're doing. That's true. I have to pray about it, really. Yeah. I have to just pray about it and just kind of see. I don't. I'm not in need of a new car right now, but I think that's the best time to test drive cars that you're interested in when there ain't nothing going wrong. I'm glad so. you got to see what we had to offer, see exactly what Tesla is. So now you kind of know. Thank you. Um, yeah, and then you kind of, oh, you know, like I said, I'm going to send you a text and everything. Please don't. Have any other questions, anything You've at all? You've been a great host. A Can pleasure. you show me? I want to see the speakers on the outside before Let I go. Let me see. Thank you. So it's in showroom mode, so it won't be as loud as oh. it can go? You say you can listen to, to the music from the outside? Yeah, I would. Where is that coming from? It's coming from the front. You hear it? <laughs> no, it's coming from the back. 
have to do it all the way around. Where are they though? I mean, I know it's for show coming from back there. Oh, it's down here. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. You also have a megaphone. A what? So, megaphone. A megaphone? So, say you shout, you shout there. Only when you're parked up. Because in LA traffic, you might, you know, you might get some. So, you can talk to people from inside the car, outside. I don't even believe that, bro. I think you just. BS. Yeah, yeah you I don't believe it. it. Yeah, I do want to see it because I ain't never heard of no car with no built-in megaphone. Uh, bro. Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> a megaphone, bro. Nah, if I hear some, I know some. So is that like a microphone? How are you doing that? That's a microphone. So you, there's no way you can play music from your cell phone, hold it up to the mic and see if it'll play on the outside of the car? It would just be your boombox or your speakers. So right now, if you listen, uh -huh. it's playing from the outside right now. Oh, that's hard, bruh. Now that's dope. What is that? It's just it. So oh. someone changed the horn to make it sound like that. You can do ice cream horn, you can do, you know, you can switch it up. You can switch the horn. I tested out the horn too to see like how the horn sounds. I was like, oh, it's just a regular. It's all soft Can you put a train horn? Put a train horn. No train horn, just clown. Huh? That's our clown horn. There's no train horn. Okay, okay, okay. That's crazy, man. Yeah, you gotta just hook up your USB device to get other horns. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. It does do some pretty cool stuff that I never knew about. I would have never known had I not come here. I'll tell you. I mean, Tesla, people come in here and they teach me something about it. Well, all right. Well, you did enjoy your drive, though. I did. That's it was pretty cool. It was That's smooth. Bad. It was. If it wasn't nothing else, it was smooth for sure. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me drive a Tesla today, man. I really appreciate the customer service and everything. You going to send me an email? Send me an email, son. All right, y'all. So we back inside. Nipsey the Wrangler. And um, I ain't gonna hold you, bruh. Just being inside this Jeep, I definitely, I'm back on my presidential vibes. I'm not sold on Teslas, bro. Like, I'm really not. Like, every time I see one, I'm still gonna be like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> like, I'm just not sold on it, bro. Like, I appreciated him for letting me test drive it and all that, but. It just seems like a car for nerds. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I, I gave it a chance. I tried to test drive it. One thing I didn't like about it the most is that it's super hard to try to find a place to position your camera if you want to vlog from inside the car. Like, I ain't like that. But most importantly, I just didn't feel like... It's not the type of car that, like, I could take pride in. Like, I could take pride in my Jeep Wrangler because... I put my own customizations into it. I customized it how I wanted to. I know it's a badass car. It turns head at traffic lights. You could take the doors off. The Jeep Wrangler can be five different cars in one. If you want it to be, the Jeep literally can go anywhere over anything. You can go off-roading. The Jeep community is a dope community. We're survivalists. Love the lifestyle that comes with having a Jeep. Um don't know if i can say the same thing when it comes to having a tesla now if you own a tesla please let me know in the comments down below does having a tesla come with its own community like what do tesla owners do that jeep owners don't do you feel me like what's so special about it please let me know if you have a tesla why do you like your tesla so much aside from the fact that you don't have to pay for gas but when he got to telling me the prices fluctuate when you're trying to charge it and you even have to pay for the charge at home through your electricity bill so if i'm charging my car every single day you might not be paying for it in gas but you might be paying for it in your electricity bill so i might as well just take my one thousand dollars a month that i'm spending on gas or what have you it ain't it probably ain't one thousand i don't know if i would say i'm, I'm spending 250 a week unless i just have a whole bunch of places to go that week like a whole bunch of appointments a whole bunch of this and that but if my electricity bill finna go up by a couple hundred bruh I might as well just keep that money and 
and just pay for the gas you feel me like you're gonna make up for the cost one way or another and that's the thing that i think people don't realize you know it might not be a gas bill so to speak but it could be your electricity bill so it's like nothing's free you feel me and if it's up to me i'd rather just keep nipsey because nipsey has a bomb sound system nipsey got swag nipsey got the door handles right here that you can grab ain't no taking no doors off the tesla you feel me not even the cyber truck so i don't know i don't know man i'm not sold on it but i did give it a try and that's more than what you could say for most people that be hating shit like they be hating because they don't understand i understand now and i still don't like it <laughs> i really wish that bmw wouldn't have stopped making the i8 because i love that car that was my favorite car i would buy that car over a tesla any day any time if they ever decide to come back out with that car i'm on it even though the i8 wasn't fully electric i still love that car like oh my god that's my favorite car of all time and the reason why i ended up getting a jeep wrangler in the first place is because the i8 was no longer being produced and the only way i could get one was if i found like an old one off toro or car gurus or something and i wasn't trying to do that so jeep it was but i'm happy with my jeep i'm gonna treat it well hope it treats me well but uh i'm gonna wrap it up right here man thank y'all for joining me on my tesla test drive i tried it i didn't like it <laughs> uh i don't know what my next vehicle test drive will be but um we gonna we gonna we gonna make some more happen so this is what it could be like you know when you're a content creator and you want to get out here and test drive some vehicles i really just want to see what all the hype was about so that's what it was if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button down below leave a comment letting me know if you're a tesla owner or a tesla driver why do you like your tesla aside from the fact that you don't have to pay for gas because that's the case with any electric vehicle so please give me some reasons as to what makes the tesla preferable over any other electric vehicle that's out there on the market like the rivian the fiskers lucids like let me know what makes tesla like your best choice why did you pick a tesla if you have a tesla i really want to know if you don't have a tesla let me know if you will ever buy one in the comments down below for sure and most importantly please make sure you subscribe to my channel down below but really though you already know how i go till next time peace Hmm. Well, I want to ask you, like, you're like literally the only person I know that owns a Tesla. So, like, mm -hmm. I want to ask you, like, why do you like it? Aside from the fact that you don't have to pay for gas no more. Like, why do you like it? I just, I, um, it's, um, one, you save a lot of gas money. Um, like, because to fill up your, your, um, like, your whole car is like $8. Like, just... You know, it's it's it's, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Um, it's 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 very cl clean look. Like you don't really have to do shit to it. That's true. Um, is your electric bill yeah. usually yeah. high? Well, I you know I, I live with my mom, so I, I don't have it installed. I would love to have it installed into my, but I don't think it is high like that. You can actually plug it into an, a, a, like just a regular outlet, mm -hmm. and like it'll charge you. Um, not charge you, but it will charge, like, it will charge, like, if you go to sleep for the, for the night, it will charge you for, like, because it'll be, like, a whole, like, 10, 15 hours of a charge for it to be complete. Oh, wow. So by the time you wake up, it's already, like, good enough to drive. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it doesn't take, in, like, a lot of your electricity like that to me. Interesting. Um, and then if you do have the installation one it's, it's good too because it'll charge your car up like within like three hours four hours so um, that's how long it takes to get a full charge mm, well if you go to a, a, a super uh, a supercharger it everywhere um i so for me if you if you were to go to electric i would would rather have you go walk to tesla because it's very convenient because there's a lot of charging station so um to get to like 80 percent like you from zero to 80 percent mm -hmm. you'll probably just have to charge for like 20 minutes 
Oh, that's right? not bad, yeah. Because he was like, yeah, but, zero but, to but sometimes people don't even, yeah, some people don't charge all the way to 80, they charge all the way to 60. You know, it's depending on what you do. It, it, that would be like 10 minutes. Uh, I mean, granted, it's, it's going to take up your time, but you just have to plan. <clears throat> but you can't go below 20%. Well, you can. You can go 15%. But I choose not to go t down to 20% or under or whatever because it's not really good for your battery. So you just got to maintain it to be at 20% mm. and, or higher. Um, and that's about it. Just clean. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really have to do stuff to it. It's just like a very like straightforward car. That's so true. I mean, that's one thing I did take from it. It's just a very, it doesn't even, you can't even see the battery or nothing. It's just like a... As Maintenance to, is great. Um, yeah. The other thing you need to probably fix is the filter. Um, yeah. The filter? <laughs> There's a filter, you know, every car has a filter with that air conditioning. Oh yeah, for sure. So, yeah, yeah, sometimes like you don't have to fix it. Uh, it's not all the time, but sometimes like if you smell your car smell like feet, uh -huh. it's because your filter is fucked, it's crazy. So you have to. You could do it on your own too. My 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 boss just did it on his own, but I usually call them because they'll they'll come to your house and fix it for you. Oh, that's dope. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of wanted I, to see. I, but me personally, I'm like. Um, Probably next year, I'm probably gonna get another car, but like a gas car. Mm, what would you get? A Jeep? Mm, I, I was, I definitely was looking at the Bronco. Ah, before. a Bronco is um, nothing but, but a Jeep but, copycat. But, but I'm, I'm like so into BMWs. Mm. So I might just get another like lowered car. Yeah, to be honest with you, when I was getting a Jeep Wrangler, I really wanted to get the BMW i8, but they stopped mm -hmm. making those. And so that was my dream car. And so I wanted to get one, but when they stopped making it, it's like the Jeep was my second choice of a dream car. So I went ahead and got this. Plus, yeah, I wanted a Jeep too, but I, I wanted the two seater Jeep, the Sahara two seater one. Mm, why the two seater? Yeah. I don't know. I just liked it. I just liked the look. Like my friend had one and she fixed it up and it was crazy. Mm, you don't but like then, that. You know, I, I also fell in love. I also fell in love with the G wagon too because my ex mm. um, had a G wagon. Mm -hmm. but like the old school. Like um, it's not even a recent one. She fixed it up. Like she put like um, European like um, fenders. And, like it was just. It was actually really dope. But. Um, that those are gas guzzlers so yeah that's true yeah, yeah. But, okay then well i just kind of wanted to see your take on it like it's well, not really let me know if you do get some because i can give you my little code so that i can get 500 and you can get 500 free charging oh that's dope <laughs> Yeah, That's dope. It, 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 it wouldn't be anytime soon. I really just kind of wanted to see, like, I definitely want my next car to be some sort of uh, electric vehicle, but I just don't know. You know, there's so many out now. Rivians, Teslas, Fisker, Lucid, like. I, I say Tesla because it, it's literally everywhere. You just, like, type in, and then they're fast charging. And then you can also charge in regular charges, but, you know, the regular charges... Um, take up about like five hours for you to charge but like wow that's a long time super, bro yeah but if you if you do superchargers it's, it's fine because like, it's everywhere so i guess that's what i'm really trying to figure out like even though you quote unquote don't have to pay for gas or save money in gas do you end up paying for it in electricity like if you have no. a electric charger at your house because i'm a driver like i love road trips i will drive cross country i don't give a fuck like i love to drive. that's that's the thing um if you want to fully charge your car to 100 percent, because usually that's that's when you charge it to 100 mm percent -hmm. is when you are traveling mm -hmm. um that will take about 45 minutes mm -hmm. to fully charge all the way you know um and that's that's why i want to get a regular car because I, I would get a regular car to travel with mm -hmm. it, you know, you already have your Jeep, so... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, this but, Jeep... But then you can't travel with your Jeep, because... Why can't I? It's because you, have, you don't have your doors. Right? Oh, no, I put my doors on. They on right now. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Oh, so you can put them on and off. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It comes oh, with yeah. doors. I just ride with them off a lot of times because it's just like, it'd be hot. And you know what I mean? It'd just be hot. It's just a cool way to drive. Like I love the Jeep because it can be literally like five cars in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, if you can attach it, then you're good. Uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. I travel without the doors too. Like I'll go to like a Big Bear or something like that, depending on what's going Ooh. on. If I have like an off-roading trip with my Jeep club or something, I'll go out there. But we have Jeep Go Naked Day, where you take the doors off and the top off, and that that your Jeep is considered fully naked at that point. And we'll just mm -hmm. like go wherever. I went to San Diego with no doors um, a few months ago, and no roof and no doors, completely naked. Went out there. It was Jeep. It was go topless day on Fiesta Island in San Diego. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. But I don't know, man. I'm just out here doing some exploring. I think the best time to look into new stuff is when you don't need new stuff at the moment. So you're not pressured or you don't feel desperate. Like, oh my God, I got to hurry up and find something. It's like, I'm not in that position. I'm chilling, but I just kind of want to see like what's out there. I know Teslas are super popular. Um, but it's just, I just didn't, the only thing I didn't like about it the most is that I just didn't feel like I had swag driving it. You know what I mean? Like, no, the, the Model Y is definitely not. You might as well just get the S. <laughs> the S? Oh, did so you know this? Did you know Elon Musk was trying to spell sexy with the models of Tesla? So there's, yes, I yes. didn't know that. I learned that today. Yeah. Well, <laughs> nobody told me I was today years old. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna just keep doing some research and keep test driving and some shit. What you got going on today? Yeah. Um, I'm at work. I'm at Sony right now. Oh, shit. Work. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't get out to before. Okay. But we're, we're not really doing shit right now. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'm about to go into this uh, car audio shop real quick to see if I can get a new amp for my subwoofer because I think the one I'm using keeps making my battery die for some reason. So yeah, I'm about to go check this out. But all right, my okay. friend. Thank you for all the Tesla okay. tips. Okay, let me know if you need any more. All right. <laughs> anyway, so I okay. got you. All right, all right, bye. Today I'm doing something that I never thought I would be doing ever in my life, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. I almost feel like I'm about to do something that's against my religion because for so long I have highly spoken against this while i can't tell y'all what it is just yet what i can say is that i've said some bad things about people uh who who have done this and you know i guess you know i i don't know if my opinion will change after i do this or not i guess that's the whole point of today and what i'm doing and all the things so I guess what I'm trying to say is in life, sometimes we formulate opinions about things because we don't like the way it looks, because we don't understand it, because we can't keep up, because we fear the thing or the person. But it's up to us as adults to do what we need to do to educate ourselves. And today, I definitely want to educate myself because I can't just keep on going off what people say. And I for sure can't keep on going off of what I see because what I see is just disappointment. So today, we gonna change that, y'all. Um, wish me luck. 